Cotter Baseball. Game three of the NLCS. Big Cotters took the first two games in L.A. thanks to back-to-back late-game winning homers. First game was Joel Salen. Second game was Andrew Tyson. And now we head to Cotterville for three games. Three straight games in Cotterville. All the Big Cotters have to do is win two of those three at home. And they are going to raise an NL pennant. For only the second time among the two uh, franchises we've done. And uh, we got Owen Van Ness on the mound facing Clayton Kershaw, who is pitching game three for the Dodgers. That tells you how loaded their rotation is, but it hasn't been loaded so far this series. They've gotten bitched by the Big Cotter offense, especially the rapist in game one got cocked by this Big Cotter offense, which is just beautiful to see. Uh, but uh, the attendance so far is dog shit. So let's get some more people in here before we get this game going. And against a left-hander, the lineup's going to look a little different. We might see some Coleman Hawkins DH time here in Game 3. And Julio Arias is going to go in Game 4, another lefty. Rick Rourke is a maybe for that game. We'll see. Let's go. Kershaw versus Van Ness from Crossley Field in beautiful Cotterville. As Coleman Hawkins enters the lineup, Joel will move him up a little bit, though. He deserve, Even though he's cock against lefties, I think it's deserved. And then Dade Pitchford's been playing well, brings that switch hitting bat to the lineup. Here we go. Game three. There's your lineups. How is Cabrian Hayes on the Dodgers? What the fuck game? They probably traded him for a bag of chips for no reason. Edmundo Sosa on the, on the Dodgers as well. What a scene in Cotterville. Look at the packed house. This fan base is ready to go. Under the lights for game three. And this man will take the hill, the southpaw out of California, Owen Van Ness. Mookie bets to lead it off for the Dodgers. He'll fly out. Sosa will fly out. Freeman singles with two outs. Will Smith line out. Here comes the big Cotter offense. Tyson leads it off with a strikeout. Lane ground out. Wallace ground out. Kershaw one, two, three. Chris Taylor strikes out. Pollock strikes out. Cabrian Hayes flies out. As Joel Salen draws a walk on the left-hander. Coleman Hawkins to the plate. His first start of the series. And he strikes out. Striking out Bellinger, Bush grounds out, Bet strikes out, Van Ness is sharp through three innings. Troy Williams with a leadoff single, Dade Pitchford single. Golden opportunity for the top of the Cotter order. Tyson walks, Brady Lang to the plate. Should we hop in and watch this? Bases loaded, no outs. I know it's early in the game. I kind of want to watch this though. Lang and Wallace are hitting with the bases loaded. We got to see this. I'll go back into quick manage after those two hit. Kershaw, let's find the strike zone, bud. You're rattled. Brady Lang owns you. Brady Lang, deep drive, left field. Off the top of the wall, it'll clear the bases. Big Cotters lead 3-0. That almost got out. But we'll take the bases clearing double in the third inning. Absolutely blasted, and it hit the scoreboard. Crosley Fields got the big scoreboard. Probably would have left the yard in any other part of the ballpark. As I'll go back to quick manage. 
This is not polo grounds. What the fuck? Oh, because I'm doing I'm not on the right team. Okay, Tim Wallace grounds out. Mike Farmer single. Ling doesn't quite score. First and third one out for Holvey. Fielder's choice, no run. Joel grounds out, but three runs we will take. Van S back on the mound. He's been great so far. Sosa with a single. He's got 93 speed on first. Now Freeman strikeout. Will Smith will get one of the runs back with an RBI double. Chris Taylor will get a second run back. It's 3-2. to two. A.J. Pollock fly out, two outs. K. Brian Hayes will field their ground into a field of choice. Probably maintain the lead. 3-2 to two, heading into the bottom of the fourth. Hawkins ground out. Williams ground out. Pitchford ground out. As Bush with a double from the nine hole bringing up Mookie Betts. Pops him up. Edmundo Sosa strikes out. Van S works around the damage. Tyson ground out. Lang ground out. Wallace ground out. See how much Van S has left in him. He walks Freeman. Walks Will Smith. Gets Chris Taylor to fly out. AJ Pollock. Base hit. We're tied. Keep Brian Hayes up next. Flies out. Can Van S get out of the inning? Lefty on lefty. Cody Bellinger. Base hit. Dodgers lead. Disappointing end of the outing. Another lefty up. Let's go with Michael Handel here to face Bush. Fielder's choice. Handel gets out of it. Cotter's throw by one. Disappointing end of the outing that started off well for Van Ness. Offenses step up now. Kershaw stays in. Farmer walks to lead off in the bottom of the sixth. Holvey base hit. Cotter's in business. Joel Salen will now face Phil Bickford. Kershaw's chased after five plus innings. Fielder's choice out at third. Brings up Hawkins. Maybe we think about DH and Kennedy. I think we're going to. It's time for the left-hander Kennedy to fourth to come back in now, now that a righty's in. Base hit. Base is loaded. One out down four to three. We're hopping in. Troy Williams to the plate. Now QJB, what a pitch by Bickford. Couldn't have painted the corner better with that slider. Drew Williams has not been very good in both seasons. Nope, that's the ball. But, one and one. big opportunity here. He's got pretty good plate discipline. And he, wow. Nope. Now we're nowhere close to making contact with that fastball. One and two. Dade Pitchford on deck. And Williams falls off the heat up in the zone at 96. Fouled off. All he needs is a fly ball. And this game will be tied. And that's going to be a pop-up. It will stay in play. On the bullpen, Freddie Freeman makes the catch. Can't have that, Troy. Dade Pitchford to the plate. Two outs, bases loaded. QJB. And he falls off a pretty good pitch to hit. And another one. Hung a slider over the heart. Dade was behind it. And it's in two. Come on, stay alive here. Put something in play. That's outside on the two seamer. Low. 93. Dade lays off. It's two and two. And he chases the high speeder inning over. Big Cotters strand the bases loaded with one out. Williams and Pitchford go down. We head to the seventh. 
and Ron Harper Jr. will enter apparently. Nate Reed warming in the bullpen. Mookie Betts flies out. Edmundo Sosa flies out. Freeman walks with two outs. Will Smith pops up. Nice work, Ron Harper. Andrew Tyson will face Jimmy Nelson. Joel Salen's son. Brady Lang grounds out. Tim Wallace with a two-out walk. Mike Farmer, base hit. Here we go. Scoring opportunity for Holvey, pine tar, helmet and all. He was clutch in season one in that Brewer game. We all remember that moment. Let's make a second iconic Holvey moment right here. Inside on the slider. Bro, we got like two people watching right now. This is a joke. Chops that one foul. And he gets a piece of the knuckle curve. Two and two. Let's not strand another runner in scoring position here late. Great pitch. Even better piece of hitting to follow it off. And he went around. He doesn't agree. I think he probably did. Can we see a replay? Jimmy Nelson gets out of the inning. And we head to the eighth. Let's see it again. Close. Got to be better regardless. Back to quick manage we go. Three righties due up. Harper going to stay in. Ground out. Solo home run. A.J. Pollock. That'll do it for Harper. Nate Reed will enter. Dodgers get a much-needed insurance run. K. Brian Hayes strikes out. Bellinger with a two-out double. Bringing up Bush, who strikes out. Joel Salen owns Jimmy Nelson. Please keep him in, Dodgers. They don't. Alex Vessio come in. Salen takes a walk. Kennedy, double play. Just killer. He cannot ground into a fucking double play there. Troy Williams, single. Dade Pitchford represents the tying run. He doubles. It's 5-4, to four, and Andrew Tyson will step to the plate. Two-out rally by the Cotters in the eighth after the Kennedy double play. Pitchford with an RBI double, and now he'll score if Tyson can hit a single with two outs. That was a pitch to drive, and he was a little out in front. And that is a base hit. Pitchford will round third. It's going to be a play at the plate. The throw is offline. We're tied. Andrew Tyson has tied the game in the bottom of the eighth. 5-5. Five, five. What a two-out rally by the Big Cotter offense here in the eighth inning. Absolutely clutch for the second straight game. Tyson homered in game two to win it. Singles in game three to tie it. And Jake McGee will come in the left-hander to face Brady Lang and that's not a matchup that the Dodgers gotta like. We're staying, we're staying uh, jumped in for this at bat. Three for four with a home, three for fourteen with a homer and six RBIs in the series for Lang. Double to the gap will undoubtedly score Tyson with his 90 plus speed. And they pitch out, which I guess is makes some sense, but not really at the same time. Definitely watching Tyson over there at first, making sure Big Bryant doesn't send him. And they've thrown over twice after a pitch out. They are shaking in their boots, piss streaming down their pants about Tyson over on first base. 
And there's a strike. One and one. Slider top of the zone. One and two. A couple good pitches back to back for McGee. Come on, Lang. Drive one. Falls off a tough slider low. that one away as well. Four seamer tried to paint the outside corner. And Lang stays alive. Sixth pitch of the at bat. And he calls him out on strikes on a pitch at his shoulders. That's a shit call. Huh? There's no need to take away the best hitter's bat on that call. There's just no need. Fuck you, bitch. We head to the bottom of the eighth. Nate Reed on the hill. Betts grounds out, Sosa singles, Freeman singles, that'll do it for Reed. Ben Keith, what can you do? We're gonna hop in here. High leverage spot for Keith. Strike one on the splitter. Tried the same pit. No, actually, it didn't. It looked like it, but it was a slider. At the knees, this Cotter fan base is livid. One and one. Chases the slider away. Will Smith falls behind one and two. Ninety-seven from Keith on one two. Smith lays off two and two now. Didn't get him to go at the high heat. Walk wouldn't necessarily be the end of the world here. But to walk a guy after being ahead 1-2 would not be the result you want. Big pitch here, and he fouls off what would have been ball four into the seats. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming. And he got him. What a pitch from Keith on 3-2. Two. two outs. That's some clutch pitching. Chris Taylor to the plate. Dot of a slider there. Smith swings right through it. And now it's Taylor. Single will likely score it. What is the speed looking like on second? It's 93 at Mundo Sosa. Any single basically gives the Dodgers a ninth inning lead here. And Chris Taylor is a tough hitter. 3 of 11, 2 RBIs in the series, has one hit tonight. And an And that's foul. Smoke the foul. Keith has been great in these playoffs. That's why he's getting the nod here. 86 overall, has bounced back in a big way so far in the postseason. Little blooper coming in is Wallace. Inning over. Keith escapes the Nate Reed damage, and the Cotters can walk it off in the bottom of the ninth. You best believe we're staying in for the meat of the order. Wallace, Farmer, Holdy for a chance to go up 3-0. Here we fucking go. An NLCS walk-off in Cotterville would be electric. Tim Wallace will lead things off against Blake Trinan. Three innings. Six ERA so far in the playoffs. Tim Wallace, two and nine in the series, open through with the walk today. A walk-off nuke here would just be absolutely electric. 
Ball one. Working walks, getting guys on, and hitting the walk-off single later in the inning would also work. Fouls off 99 outside edge. Misses. Sinker. Two and one. Farmer on deck. That one on the ground and playable for the first out. Farmer will step in. And Brian Hayes somehow on the Dodgers for no reason at all makes the play. Farmer's got two singles in the game. 818 OPS in the series after being criticized for his NLDS performance. That's a nasty slider. Chases that sinker, another tough pitch, 0 and 2. And that's a good foul off. Ran in on his hands, Farmer stays alive. And Farmer in the air to center, but it hangs up there. Bellinger makes the catch to us. Came in with a fastball there after the dirty sliders and sinkers to start the at-bat off. Farmer just couldn't quite get enough elevation on it. And it'll be Sam Holvey. 9.06 OPS in this postseason. And we've seen him do it before. Oh boy, was that hung up there. And Holvey fouls it away. Paints the edge on a sinker. 50-50 call. They give it to Trinan. He's one strike away from a dominant inning. And he gets it. Colby swings and chases the slider away. And a pretty bad inning for the big Cotter order. We head to the 10th tied at 5 in game 3. And we're going to watch extra innings because runner on second, there's always a scoring chance. We stay in locked in here. Ben Keefe stays in the ball game, has thrown just 11 pitches. A.J. Pollock to the plate, he's got a homer already today. And actually, no, now there is no runner on second in the playoffs. I forgot about that, so we're going to quick manage. We're going to watch every hitting inning, but pitching will go to quick manage until there's a tough situation. Fly out Pollock, Hayes ground out, Bellinger base hit with two outs, Michael Bush... Base hit, that'll be all for Ben Keefe. We're going straight to the closer, Kieran Tawari, to try to get out of this inning. We're not playing around here. Mookie bets to the plate, have to have an out, and you go to your best guy. And Betts smokes one foul. Swings through a high fastball, 0 and 2. Can Tawari get out of the inning? Chops one foul. In the dirt, blocked, both runners advance. And now a base hit will give the Dodgers a 7-5 lead. A tough time for a wild pitch there on 0-2 for Tawari. But it won't matter if he can get him here. One, two. Deep drive, left field. Dodgers lead 8-5. Just an absolute monster home run from Mookie Betts in the top of the 10th off Tawari. And 
and the Cotters don't know what to say. Dodgers silence the crowd here in Cotterville with that one. Game not over yet, but a big statement by Betts. He absolutely demolished it. Drops the bat immediately. No doubt about it. 379, there's no way. I'll tell you right now, that is the worst stack cast measurement I've ever seen. So we had to quick manage. Max Marcus up in the pen. Tuari gets out of it. We'll quick manage this. And unless a couple guys get on and the tying run comes up, I'm not going to jump in. We want to get to game four. See what Joel can do here. Browns out. Kennedy. Solo home run. Cuts into the lead 8-6. to six. James Kennedy to fourth. Off Blake Trinan. Brings up Troy Williams. Troy Williams has two hits on the day. I was about to say, do we try Austin Cotter here, but I forgot Troy Williams actually has been playing well in this game. See if he can bring the tying run up here. Walks. Tying run to the plate twice for the Cotters. They're not dead yet. Dade Pitchford up. 348 in the playoffs. Oh, boy, did he hang a slider. Got to be earlier with that swing there. Falls off a sinker. And he takes a tough one off the edge. One and two. Trinan's 28th pitch coming. Wonder if the Dodgers will go somewhere else as he now has run it back to 2 2. And he falls off a sinker low. Stays alive. Good at bat from Dade here. If he can find his way on for the top of the order, there will be life in this building. And he watches strike three. You just can't do that. You can't do that shit. Watching a sinker right over the plate. And they are going to keep trying it in here to face Tyson. Let's hope that's a mistake. We saw what Tyson did in game two even earlier tonight. He's got some pop. Tying run at the plate, ball one. Also very disciplined hitter. Could move the line along for Brady Lang with a walk. Fouls that one away. 98 on the sinker. Gotta think Trinan is losing some steam. Pitch 33. And a borderline pitch goes Tyson's way. Thank you, Ump. Makes up for the bad call on Lang earlier. Misses again off the corner, three and one. Brady Lang waiting on deck if need be. He'd represent the winning run if Tyson takes a walk here. Come on now, let's go. Big pitch here, gotta be ready to hit it too. Three, one hitters count. Oh, it was right down the middle, the cutter. Full count. Game on the line with this pitch. From China, and he walks him. Tyson lays off the fastball, and Brady Lang steps up. Oh my goodness, what an at bat this is going to be! Even a double into the gap ties it with Tyson's speed. What a pitch there! Trying and stays in. Pitch 37, make him pay. Make the Dodgers pay for riding with Trinan for 40 pitches. Falls that one off 0-2, laying in a bit of a hole. Let's see if he can work around it. Broken bat. Can he beat it out? He almost threw it away, but he didn't from the Dodgers win. Dodgers take game three in Cotterville, a game they had to have. They get it thanks to Mookie Betts' three-run bomb. And we'll be back here for game four, and it'll be an interesting decision for Big Bryant on who he sends to the mound. Jackson Rydell had the better regular season, but was terrible in the NLDS. Ricky Rourke had the worst regular season, but has not yet had his postseason opportunity. Last year in the NLDS had 7-1 run inning. Tough decision. Might have to have a chat vote on who starts game four.
Dodgers win this one 8-6 with 14 hits. Ben Heath takes the loss. But the man who gave up the bomb was Kieran Tawari. How many times are people going to send the fucking same ass CBBN Fox post? I swear to God, every time someone sends the post and then four minutes later, not even like two hours later, four minutes later, someone sends the same thing. It's happened like four times. Jesus Christ. There's your notable players. James Kennedy didn't even start, but came in late for Coleman Hawkins was great. Brady Lang won a six, but his hit was a massive one early in the game. Dade Pitchford, two hits. Troy Williams, two hits. Andrew Tyson, I think, played pretty well as well. <laughs> Everyone's sending the fucking post again. Okay, okay. I need you to stop sending the goddamn posts and vote on who starts game four because it's a tough choice. Rydell, who got shelled in the DS, or Rick Rourke, who had a bad regular season. <laughs> oh, God, the PSP post. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. I haven't seen these. Let's, let's take a look at them. Creighton number one. No way. This guy's retarded. Yeah, fuck no, we're not throwing toss. We got three more games in the series. Not wasting them in game four with a series lead at, at home. <clears throat> I think we're going to give Rick Rourke the ball here. I think we're going to do it. Connor Rourke is going to get the baseball against Julio Arias, another left-hander. Same lineup we're rocking with, except we're going to go Kennedy over Hawkins despite the platoon. Just because Kennedy's been very good recently, we are going to move him down one just to get some balance there. There we go. Got to thrip, got to play your best nine in games like this, regardless of handedness, matchups. This is the best nine the Cotters have to offer, without question. A lot of rain coming down in Cotterville for this one. Here is the series schedule. We're not making it to Friday and Saturday, I'll tell you that. We're ending the series here in Cotterville. Rick Work warming up. That is just not true. We don't suck when we watch. We watched Joel and Tyson both hit bombs to win us games in games one and two when we watched. So that is just such cap. Let's go, Rick. Three, three, three. Great start from Connor Rourke. Three strikeouts in the first inning. Tyson grounds out, Lang walks. Wallace Fielder's choice, Farmer Fielder's choice. Two singles allowed by Rourke. Cabrian Hayes flies out. Holvey ground out. Salen with a double. Williams grounds out. Kennedy strikes out. And Rick Rohr gives up a home run to Freddie Freeman. And the Dodgers lead 1-0 in the third. Need some offense. And there it is. Brady Lang ties the game solo bomb. Gets the run right back in the bottom of the inning. Brady Lang. And Connor Rourke through four one-run innings. Mike Farmer reaches on an error. Holvey Fielder's Choice out at second. Joel double play ball inning over. What can Rick Rourke do? Strike out two, give up a single to Sosa, and then a two-run homer. Freddie Freeman absolutely owns you. He's done. Lack's coming in. That'll do it for Rick Rourke. Freddie Freeman three for three, three RBIs against him. I mean, it's just, 
he'll live in his nightmares. As Lack gets out of the inning, 3-1 for Troy Williams. Kennedy brings the time run to the plate. And Tyson walks, big at bat for Lang here, and he strikes out. Lack, Longman, 1-2-3 inning. Nice relief work by him. And a two-out double for Holby. Huge A-B here. Come on, Joel. Grounds out. Lack stays in the ball game. Double play ball. Three shutout frames from Lack in relief. Williams walk. Kennedy double play. you got to be kidding me. That'll do it for Lack here. <coughs> Actually, will it though? He's got so much energy, he's been pitching great. Let's see how he does here. Strikes out Smith. Round out Pollock. Lack has been phenomenal. Top of the order. Here's the chance for the Cotters to come back. Tony Gonsolin will come in the game. Andrew Tyson owns him in game two. Pops up. Brady Lang. Double. Need this run to come in at the very least, preferably a bomb. Double, three to two. And the tying run in scoring position for the Afroed redhead number 69, Michael Farmer, with a chance to tie. One and oh. Jesus, couldn't have been a better pitch to hit there. He's behind it. Nope. He has a point. We have not, every time we've watched Farmer, he's been awful. When we sim his appearances, he does well. Michael Farmer, deep. Am I back now? Did the stream go out? Let's see. I'm back, okay. Here we go. Holvey reaches on an error with one out. Joel walks. Troy Williams base hit. Bases are loaded. Let's get some insurance, Kennedy. We're not done yet here in the eighth. Strike one. And that is down the line. Cotters will add on. One run in. Two runs will score. It's six to three. What an inning for the Cotter offense. Kennedy, two run single.
What a piece of hitting the opposite way. And the Cotters get some much needed insurance runs. Paddle to it and Jimmy Nelson in third pitcher of the inning for the Dodgers. We head to quick manage. Tawari ready to go for the save spot. Maybe he won't need a save if Pitchford can drive another one in. He does! 8-3 Cotters. It's a seven run inning. Unbelievable. And they may not even be done. Lang has a chance. Base hit, eight run inning. Two run homer, Tim Wallace. Ten run, eighth inning in game four. This is unbelievable. Matt Welsh is going to get the ninth now after this onslaught. You heard me correctly, Matt. 11 3 Cotters. They entered the inning down 3 to 1. Matt Welsh to face Bellinger. An error made. Bush strikes out. Taylor strikes out. And Matt Welsh gets it done. The big Cotters lead the series 3 to 1. They are one game away from the world. Series. Let's go. Unbelievable eighth inning. Ten run eighth inning wins this one. And how about Jack Youngman's work out of the bullpen? Three and a third innings pitch, two hits, three strikeouts, no runs. After Rick got roughed up by Freddie Freeman, he came in and did great work, kept the Cotters in it, and an unreal eighth inning, my goodness. And the Cotters may be raising a pennant here in Cotterville in game five with Kyle Tosk on the hill. We got to see this homer again, too. My goodness. Hold on. What a pimp job, and rightfully so. Bro kicked the grass. <laughs> bro kicked the grass, bro. Mike Farmer, legend. That play will be replayed for your kids, your grandkids, your grandkids' kids, your grandkids' kids' kids' kids. That's right. That moment will be relived forever. And that was his only hit of the game, but we don't care. Brady Lang was a monster, too. Cotters will have their ace on the hill in Cotterville with a chance to send them. Why the hell is Julio Arias starting again? He just started today. What are we doing, game? Chance to head to the World Series. Kyle Tosk with the ball. Trevor Raper is going to get the baseball here. If we lose this one, I don't know what to tell the franchise. We need to absolutely cock 90 pimp shots on this rapist while I throw a perfect game and win this game as loving the lineup. Here we go. One more. All we need is one. Otterville is rocking with a chance to raise a pennant tonight. Look at this place. We are ready to go in Cotterville. Big Cotters lead the Dodgers 3 to 1. And the ball will be handed to the NL Cy Young, who changed numbers again for no reason at all. Me. Let's go. Bats with a leadoff double. Great start, me. Striking out Sosa, though. Freeman ground out. 
Already got him out one more time than Rick did in a full start. And Will Smith grounds out. Andrew Tyson strike out Tim Wallace single. Lang, fielder's choice, ground out. Here we go. Base hit Bellinger. He steals second somehow. Bush strikes out. Taylor strikes out. Inning over. Colby ground out. Farmer ground out. Kennedy strike out. Cotter offense struggling to start. It's two out single. Edmundo Sosa double Freddie Freeman. But Sosa's 93 speed doesn't score. Huge AB for Will Smith. He flies out. Inning over. Strikeout Williams. Pitchford with a walk. Finally a base runner. Tyson Fielder's choice. Let's try to steal second. He does. Runner in scoring position for Wallace. Ground out. 0-0 ball game. And it remains 0-0. Solo homer Brady Lane. Cotter's lead. Cotter's lead in the fourth. In game five. Thanks to Brady Lane with another bomb. And Joel follows it with a single. Holvey follows it with a single. Farmer grounds out, moves both runners over. Come on, Kennedy. Bring them both home. He walks. Base is loaded one out. Why not? In a clinch game, we're going to watch these at bats. Troy Williams. Against the Rapists. Wow. Not sure how you swung over the top of that pitch. Troy Williams is drunk, folks. That means he's going yard here. And that ball in the air to right center field. Bellinger is going to get under it, but this should make it 2 nothing. And it will. Big Cotters lead 2 nothing on the Williams sack fly. He got it done. Got to respect that he put it in play. And the Cotters have a 2 nothing lead for their ace. Can Dade Pitchford add on more? He's had a hell of a postseason. Has been shit in the regular season both seasons, but comes into this, this game 938 OPS on the playoffs. Fouls that slider off. Big Brian is an elite third base coach slash manager slash moral support guy. Come on, Dade. What in the hell is that swing? A sword swing from Dade Pitchford there on a curveball that just ate in on his hands. 0 2 pitch. And another one, and he pops it up. What a shit at bat. But Williams gets one more in. 2 0 Cotters. And I've got the baseball with a bullpen that's been a lot better of late. Let's go. Fly out Hayes, ground out bats. Sosa reaches on an error. Whoever made it, go fuck yourself. And it doesn't matter. Tyson, base hit. Caught stealing for the first time in a long time. Wallace grounds out, laying ground out. One, two, three inning. I'm mowing him down. Double for Holvey. Farmer ground out, moves him over. Kennedy ground out. Strike out, strike out, fly out. Seven shut out, and I don't plan on removing myself anytime soon. Gonsolin in. Williams walks. Pitchford strikeout, Tyson Fielder's choice, Wallace strikeout. Eighth inning time, Tosk still mowing him down. Brady Lang, bottom of the eighth, how about another run or two? Phil Bickford in, we own him. Holvey two out single, Farmer two run homer, Cotters can officially count out. It's four nothing heading to the ninth. Kennedy follows that with a ground out. Here we are. Three outs away. Farmer with a two-run bomb, and they can feel it now in the building. Toss going for the complete game shutout. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Tough pitch there, 1-1. How about the resurgence by Mike Farmer in this NLCS? He is going to win NLCS MVP without any questions asked. He has been absolutely elite in this series. And he swings and misses at a changeup in the dirt, 2-2. Two two, 115th pitch coming. We'll see if the bullpen is loose or if they're gonna let Tosk try to go for all nine. Honestly, if I would pull myself, but we'll let Big Bryant make the choice. It's 
Two and two. And another foul ball running the pitch count up. This could be the last hitter. We'll see what Big Bryant decides. And that one is a base hit, and that should probably be it. Kieran Tawari, I believe, was warming up. Lead-off single for Will Smith. And that's going to do it for Tosk. Eight shutout innings. And he should get a nice ovation from this Cotterville crowd on his way off the mound. What an effort in a clinch game here in Cotterville. And I would hope Kieran Tawari is the choice here. If he is not, it is Nate Reed. Not going to burn their closer up 4 nothing. Interesting decision. Nate Reed's been great so far in the playoffs. Just one run allowed in five innings. Nine strikeouts has not walked anybody. Right-handers have got him a little bit, but he's been nearly unhittable against lefties. A.J. Pollock's a righty, though, so let's see how this A.B. goes. And he mows one in there, strike one. Three for 20 in the series. That He does have a homer, but nothing to write home about for Pollock here. Hitting 150, and Pollock drives one in the air to deep left field, and it's caught by Dade Pitchford. Couldn't totally see it in that dark spot there at the back of the outfield, but Pitchford ranges back and makes the play for the first out. One down, two to go. Bellinger to the plate. Lefty matchup for Reed. He loves him. I got to pause this for a second and do an add-all to make sure people come the fuck in here. Great point by Farmer. If we can end it on a double play here, that'll be absolutely electric. Because the Cubs also ended their NLCS drought on a double play. They were up 5 nothing at the time. Guess we needed one more run to fulfill the prophecy. 2-0 and on Bellinger. You don't want to walk him, Reed, because you own lefties. Give him pitches to hit, make him beat you. 3-0. and Let's not get two guys on here. Find the zone, Reed. Harper and Handel were in the pen. Tawari nowhere to be found here in a four-run game where there might be two guys on. Let's wake up, Big Bryant. Good pitch there. Three and one. And he misses. Dodgers are going to put two on here. And if they get one more guy on, the tying run will come to the plate. Michael Bush, another left-hander against Reed. Just find the zone. Reed has been nearly unhittable against left-handed hitters, but if you're throwing balls nowhere close, you're not going to beat them. As there is 98, blew it right by him. Need more of that. Go three straight fastballs here. Make him touch one. Make him touch one of your 99-mile-an-hour heaters. Let's go. No need to get cute on this at bat. There's another 100, 0-2. Oh Simple game plan here. One more. Blow it by him. Two down. And that one gets away from Troy. Both runners advance. Doesn't totally matter. But a single does cut the deficit in half here. Tried the fastball, but just very wild. One and two. And he got him. Went with the off speed, sort of. Slider at 91. And we are one out away. Here's the pitch sequence. 98 four-seamer, 100 four-seamer, 89 slider was the one that got away. And then he goes high slider. He's ahead of it. Big Cotter's one out away from the World Series. And the Dodgers hopes it will be Kieran Tawari for the Cotters. They go to their closer here. And it is a save spot. Tying run is on deck. 
looking to pick up the save that sends the Cotters to the World Series. Dodgers final hopes lie in Chris Taylor's hands. Oh and one. Oh and two. Crowd on their feet in Cotterville. One strike away. The O2 from Kieran Tawari is low. 97, one and two. Taylor lives to see one more. And fouls that one off. Pitch number five coming. Remaining one strike away, Tawari. All you need is one. The pitch. And the Cotters have won the pennant. The Cotters win the NL pennant in Cotterville. Four nothing your final. Celebration on the field, your 2023 National League champions, the Cotterville Big Cotters. And they are four more away from their first ever World Series trophy. They have done it. The Cotters are headed to the World Series. And there is Austin Cotter and his mullet celebrating with his teammates. Zero at-bats all postseason, but the hugs are there still. And Trevor Bauer ends the series 0-2 against Tosk. Let's fucking go. Mike Farmer is your NLCS MVP. There's just no question. Awful NLDS. Unbelievable NLCS. Kyle Tosk, eight shutout innings, eight strikeouts. Farmer, obviously, the homer. Holvey, three hits. Lang homered. And this is the year. Big Cotters are on a quest for the World Series. We'll find out who their opponent is. They beat the 103-win Dodgers in five games, and they clinch in front of their home fans. Nothing better than that. This is a team of destiny, ladies and gentlemen. And their opponent in the Fall Classic, the Houston Trash Can Bangers. Let's hope no signs are stolen. Astros beat the Blue Jays in seven. Maybe a little more tired. Cotters come in more well-rested here. Game one, Tosk or Keedy. But not quite now. Maybe we can play game one at like 9.30. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. All I know is that the big cotters are headed to the World Series.